hello guys this is Olushala David and you're welcome to my youtube channel now in today's video I'm going to show you how you can set up your own stripe account if you are not in the United States obviously it's no news that stripe is only allowed in few selected countries and if by chance you are not among the selected countries i'm going to show you how you can set up your own personal stripe account and use it to process payment for your online business or use it to receive payments from your customer and not just that i'm also going to show you how you can withdraw your money inside your stripe account and have it withdrawn to your local bank accounts okay so if this is something you like to do for your business if it's something you like to set up for your online business i want you to watch this video to the end and let me show you exactly how to do that and if this is your first time visiting this channel please i want you to like this video if you have any question drop them in the comment section below and most especially subscribe to the youtube channel so you can get more videos like this all right so without any further ado let's get started all right guys so for us to successfully create our stripe account there are a couple of things that we're going to be needing first we need to have our business incorporated in the united states that is we need to have our business registered in the united states then after that request for our own personal u.s tax identity number also known as EIN. then other things that we need includes a u.s phone number a u.s physical house address and the u.s bank account number that we can use to withdraw our money from our stripe account and i'm going to show you exactly how you can get all this done but the most important thing that we need is to have our business registered in the u.s first then get our u.s tax identity number because now this couple of things is what we need to actually create our stripe account so if we don't have the two we will be finding it difficult to create the stripe account so which means we need to register our business first before we can actually create our stripe account and for us to register our business in the u.s i'm actually going to recommend the same company that i use in creating my own u.s business all right so the name of the company is inc authority looking at their reviews you should be able to deduce that these people actually know what they are doing they've been in business for a very long time okay so they actually know what they are doing okay so what i'm going to show you now is how to create your business in the united states then get your ein also known as your u.s tax identity number then after that we're going to come back to stripe then set up our stripe account all right guys so i'm going to add a link at the description of the video i want you to go to the description of the video click the link and open it on another tab and let's go through the step-by-step -step procedure together or whenever you are ready just go to the description of the video click the link and watch me do it step by step all right so once you land on the website once you or once you land on their website what you're actually going to see is something like this so i want you to come over here then click on start now for free okay so once you click on the start now for free it's going to ask you details about the business you want to form okay so as you can see here what you need to do is just click on this drop down menu then click on limited liability company which is lcc now this is what we're going to be creating for our business then select the state of your lcc now the reason i'm going with kentucky is because they charge a cheap state filing fee then their annual tax is also cheap i think for their annual tax is around 15 dollars and the state filling fee is around 40 dollars so i think i found kentucky and colorado to be the cheapest when you are creating your business in the u.s okay you could also do your, your own findings before you go ahead with kentucky or colorado so in my own case i'm going to go ahead with kentucky then i'm going to click on save and continue all right so here it's all about the business owner which is you so you want to enter your full name here okay so your full name your first name here your last name here then your email address then your phone number now for the phone number i would advise you enter a u.s phone number okay so if you don't have a u.s phone number i did a video now you can get your own personal u.s number i'm going to add it somewhere around here so once you are done just watch the video and set up your own personal u.s number and use it to create the account because once you create the account one of their customer agent is going to customer service agent is going to call you and so once you set up your details here so what you want to do is you want to come here then click on i agree to terms and condition then click on save and continue 
so the next the next stop now is about your business about your llc details okay so here you're going to enter your proposed name okay so once you enter the proposed name they are going to do a state search for the name so to check if the name is actually available now you don't have to pay for this this is absolutely for free so once the name is available they, they, they are going to go ahead and incorporate the business for you but if the name is not available they will notify you that the name is not available that you should enter another name so all these are done for free okay you don't have to pay for the name search okay so here just go ahead and enter the name you propose for your business then enter what the business is all about so here i'm just going to go with digital marketing okay so after you've done that what you want to do now is you want to come here now here it says will your business accept credit card and card payment now remember the sole reason why we're creating the business in the first place in the first place is to be able to use stripe okay which is credit card payment so the option that you're going to choose is yes okay so right here you're going to choose your business category so basically it's about online business so you're going to tick the online business then you scroll down then click on save and continue okay so the next step here is for your business address now in the beginning I, I talked about we needing us phone number and us physical address now the address you're going to choose here is where they are going to send your document to so once your business is set up they will send it to a us address so once your um your document reach the us address from there you can now chip it to your own personal local address in your state or in your country of origin so right here so if you want to create a if you don't have a us physical address so i will suggest you go to google okay and search for chip chipito chipito address okay so once you get there you can actually create a us you can actually get a us address for your online business so once you create an account with them get your own us address and which is actually free so you can just copy the address then use it to create your own account here okay so once you've done that select the state you want to choose the, um, the state of the address so let me choose kentucky so once you've done that you want to come here then if you like you could take this but i don't think it's necessary so if the address if the shipping address is the same as the business address you can do this but if the shipping address is different okay so you can just click here then enter another shipping address you have here okay so i'm going to be using the one we created with chipito as the same business address so so you just tick this and if it's otherwise take the second one so the next thing you want to do now is you want to click save and continue all right so if if you have an account with them already all you need to do is just to click on login and continue or let's click on continue as guest okay just to save the time okay so as you can see it says employer identification number which is ehn now which is part of what we actually need to set up our stripe account so now for the ehn they are going to charge 49 us dollars so what you want to do now you want to click on it which is yes then after that save and next so operating agreement okay so the operating agreement also cost 89 dollars so you also need this for your business so you're going to click on yes then save and continue so i think this is basically all the money you're going to be paying then for state filling which is around 40 dollar also so the remaining you just click on no then click on save and next okay so i think this is express processing if you want them to process the business registration very quickly okay you can actually choose yes which is going to cost you 49 us dollar but in my own case i actually choose no then i click save and next so for um website registration for your business name okay so if you want to create a website for your us business you could actually choose yes here i think it cost like 10 us dollar okay but in my own case you can actually get a domain name for the business yourself using namecheap also 
So if you want, you can choose yes. And if you know you can do it yourself, you can actually choose no. Okay, so save and next. All right, so INC success advisor. So I'm not sure this is something you actually need. So, but in my own case, I actually choose no. Okay, so save and next. So if you want them to create a business checking and credit card account for you in the United States, okay? So you could actually choose, yes, I'm interested. I think the account comes with a monthly maintenance fee of around $25 or thereabout. I'm actually not sure about that, but I know you can actually create your own personal US account for free. And I'm going to show you towards the end of the video. So in my own case, I actually choose no, then save and next. So as you can see right here now, this is what we actually, this is what we are paying for, which is five points name check, preparation and filing, registered agents. I think the only thing we are paying for is the operating agreements, the uh, employer identification number, which is also the tax identification number or here and here. Then the Kentucky state filling fee, which is 40 US dollars. So the total cost for everything we are doing now is $178. And if you have to do this somewhere else, it's going to cost around $500 to $1,000. And so as you can see, the service is relatively cheap with INC authority. Okay. So I think currently they are doing a promo. Also, if let me show you a trick on how to even get a cheaper price with them. So what you want to do now is you want to pretend as if you are going back. Okay. So as you can see, now it comes with additional 20% of your order because I pretend as if I'm going back. So I'm not sure this is going to work for you, but you could try it. But as at the time I'm creating this video, now this is what I noticed. Okay, so what you want to do now, you just want to click on redeem now. Okay, so they are going to adjust the price. So as you can see, it was one $178 US dollar before, but right now it's now. 150 us dollar so after that once you've make a payment for it they, they are going to start the process someone is going to call you ask for additional details and once everything is set up once you have your business registration once you and once you have your business registered in the years and you have your business details and you have the tax identity number then you are going to move ahead to stripe and use it to create our stripe account Alright guys, so now that we have our business incorporated in the US and we also have our tax identity number, our EIN, the next thing we have to do now is to use that details to create our Stripe account. As you can see, I already have a Stripe account, but I'm going to show you how to create your own personal Stripe account. But in order to avoid creating a long video, I've actually split this video into two. So this is the first part. The first part is to show you how you can actually incorporate your business, get your e high hand. So the next video is going to be on how you can actually set up your own Stripe account. Okay, so if you are yet to subscribe to the YouTube channel, please subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss the next video. Account. But in the meantime, you need to get your own US bank account up and running because without having your us bank account and um, creating your strap account is not going to be 100 percent complete so you need to have your own us bank account and to do that what you need to do is you need to head over to you need to head over to peonia and set up your account okay so i'm going to add a link at the description of the video to get your own peonia account set up so from your own peonia account you can actually you can actually get your US bank account, then integrate it with your own Stripe account. All right. So once that is up and running, then you'll be able to use your Stripe account to process payment. All right, guys. So if you are yet to subscribe, like I said, please subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss it. And for you to incorporate your business, don't forget I add the link at the front of the video. So click the link to get your business set up and get your in high hand. So after you've done that, the next thing to do is to create your Stripe account. So watch out for the next video, which is about how to set up your Stripe account. All right. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.